Good morning. Today we're going to be solving multi-step multiplication number stories. So we're going to write an estimate and a number model for the problem, then solve it. Danielle and Hector are selling raffle tickets to raise money for the school band. Danielle sells five tickets per day for four weeks straight. She then sells four tickets per day for one week. How many tickets does Hector need to sell if he wants to sell more tickets than Danielle? So. They want us to estimate, do the number model with the unknown, and then our answer. And then we're going to see if it makes sense. So let's first do um, our number models. So I know that Danielle sells five tickets per day for four weeks straight. So I know that she sells five tickets. And now I have to think about how many days are in a week. How many days are in a week? Yes, seven. So then I take those. And now I have to multiply whatever this number is times four because she's been selling them for four weeks straight. And that's going to equal x. Then. I have to figure out how many tickets she sells the next week. So she sells four tickets per day for one week. So she's going to take four times seven again because there's seven days in a week. And then we're going to multiply that by one because she only sells for one week this time and not four. So we're just going to say that that equals W. And then we're going to add whatever those two are together. So let's figure out an estimate. So, um, five tickets per day for four weeks straight. So, what's, what could we round this to make it easier? We could do, we could do five, five tickets times Oops. We could do five tickets times per day, so five times seven is thirty-five. So we could do eight to make it a little bit easier and round that to forty. And then we could do forty times four because it's for four weeks. And then we get one sixty. So there's our estimate for that. And then um, we can estimate uh, four tickets per day for one week. We could do uh, four times four times five because that's pretty close. Four times five that equals twenty. And so then we can add these together. So one sixty plus. Um, 20 equals 180 and so there's our estimate now let's actually solve this so 5 times 7 equals 35 and now we need to take 35 times 4 but we'll, we'll do that in a second what's 4 times 7 yep it's 28 and then we only have to take that times 1 So, now let's take 35 times 4. So we'll put 4 times 35. So we got to break it up into 30 and 5. What's 4 times 3? 12. That adds 0. 4 times 5 is 20. So our answer is 140. So our answer is 140 for x here. And it is 28 times 1 would just be 28. Now we have to add 40 plus 28 to equal T for tickets. Now let's add those. Add those together. So let's add those. And we get 168. 
So he's going to need to sell more than 168 tickets. So does our answer make sense? Yes. Because our estimate was 180 it was 180 and our answer is 168 and those are very close all right, let's try another one. Write an estimate in a number model for the problem, then solve. Alaya buys four cartons of eggs each month. Each carton contains one dozen eggs. How many eggs does Alaya buy in two years? All right. So, let's go ahead and try to do our number model. So she buys four cartons of egg each month. How many months are in a year? This, 12. And how many eggs are in a dozen? Yes, 12. So here's what our number model is going to look like. It's going to look like four because she buys four cartons each month. So for 12 a month, and then each carton contains one dozen eggs, and I know that that's 12. And then that equals y. Okay. Now, let's figure out an estimate of this. So, I could do, I could do something easy, whoops, I could do 4 times 10, because 10 is close to 12, and that equals 40, and then I could multiply it times 10 again, because this 12 is close to 10 too, and that equals 400. And then, they, this, so this would be how much for one year one year, but I need to figure out how many two years would be. So I would just add another 400 for another year to get two. So then my um, estimate would be 800. So that's my estimate, 800. Now, let's try to figure out what the actual problem is. So what is four what is 4 times 12? Does anybody know? It would be 48. And now I need to multiply that times 12 again to get my answer. So I'm going to break it up. Break up into 40 groups of tens and eight ones. Then I'm going to break up 12. So one group of 10 and two ones. So now I just need to multiply that out. So 4 times 10 would be 400. 8 times 10 would be 80. 8 times 2 is 16, and 40, 4 times 2 is 8, and then I just add my 0. So now I just need to add all these up. So when I add them up, I get, I get 576. Okay, now, like I did over here, I had to add it again because this is only one year. 
I need two years, so I'm going to have to add it together again. So I'm going to take 576 plus 576. I'm going to get 1,152. And now that I think about it, I scroll down. I scroll down. Does my, does my answer make sense? Yes, it makes sense because 800 is close to, which 800 was my estimate, close to 1,152.